Hey guys, Mike Chen. Like I mentioned before, Singapore is the land of buffets. There's all sorts of buffets here. I found a Sichuan buffet, there's Korean fried chicken buffet, and today I am going to, for the first time ever, an all-you-can-eat lobster steak Italian buffet. And it's gonna be right here at the Regent. All right, let me show you around this buffet. This is really, really cool. So in the middle, there's seafood, mussels, clams, scallops, lobster, cold-cut salads, bread. This is the hot food section. There's crispy pork belly, steak. Also, this is really, really cool. Wagyu beef lasagna. There's a bunch of truffle dishes here, there's pasta. And this might be the coolest room of the buffet if I can find it right here. A cheese room. This is, there's over 40 different types of cheeses in here, including dark chocolate and white chocolate gorgonzola, which they say is their specialty. Can't wait to try this room. All right, let's eat. This is not the biggest buffet I've been to, but it looks exquisite. So this place has a buffet pretty much every day. On Monday, they have an all-you-can-eat Wagyu beef steak buffet. So if this tastes good, definitely come back for that. A little guava juice. Actually, they just give us a bigger table, which is very much appreciated. All right, round one, just got some light stuff. Usually don't get bread, but I am in an Italian restaurant, so bread drizzle with olive oil. This is a mix of cold surf and turf Melon to eat with my cold cuts. Take my melon and wrap some pancetta around that. This is one of my favorite appetizer items. Savory, smoky, cured meat, sliced, paper thin. Mmm, it's so scrumptious. That with a juicy, sweet melon is really the best way to eat this. That just gets my appetite kicking. Next up, got a little tuna salad. Love it. Fish is tender and delicious. There's such a huge vinegary element to this. Look at this. The scallop is just covered in herbs. Mmm. How is that so sweet? The herbs provides that additional fragrance that just really highlights the sweetness of that scallop. Oh, that is so sweet. Definitely need a lot more of this. Chilled lobster, of course. This is always gonna be good. All right, this sweet piece of lobster. I think I'm gonna add something savory to it. Saved a little piece of pancetta. Oh yeah, that's so much better than dipping this in some butter. Wow, I can't believe I've never tried eating lobster like that before. One part amazingly sweet, the other part smoky, savory. We got a hit of umami at the end where it lingers on your tongue. Not a great way to eat a lobster. Oh, the artichoke dip is so good too. One thing I love about Singapore, there's so many different cultures here and they celebrate it all through food. And to be able to find the first all-you-can-eat Italian buffet I've ever had in my life, not counting unlimited breadsticks at Olive Garden, of course. This is just amazing. So this is the manatambar. Oh, thank you. Look. And this one is chili anything just the oh, I appreciate that, thank you so much. They're so nice here. So the Manhattan Bar, which is also inside this hotel, they brought over a pomegranate mocktail. Oh, that's so good. Light and fruity, a little fizzy, a little smoky too. Whoa, hmm, that's beautiful. Oh, this is already so good, especially this artichoke dip. Oh my God, I'm gonna wanna put that dip on everything. Mm. I'm really excited about eating the hot food bar and trying out that Wagyu beef lasagna. Round two, and we're starting with a salad. The salads here looks awesome. They have someone at the salad bar making each salad for you. 
and you can choose between different dressings, different sea salts. I got truffle dressing, I got truffle sea salt, also chili sea salt. Maybe a little too salty, I don't know. And also hot oil. one of the best tasting sauce I ever put in my mouth. Wow, that's much better than I thought it was gonna be. Now, it doesn't look impressive, but when that thing hits your tongue, it makes me almost wanna be a vegetarian. Almost, almost. A little, little more than almost. I'm at a time buffet raving about the salad, but the salad is awesome. And it's fresh veggies, that's all great, but the truffle dressing and the chili salt and hot oil, it's just such an earthy blast of flavor. I mean, it's both refreshing, creamy, and spicy at the same time. It's a delicious salad. So I could eat this all day long. Though it would be better with some meat on top. All right, my official, real, second round. Second round is filled with some amazing stuff. But first of all, mushroom truffle soup. Mmm, this thing is just almost too much flavor. I made too much of that great truffle fragrance and that incredible earthiness from all that mushrooms. Mmm, that's delicious. This plate is crazy. So got truffle pizza, cured meat pizza, steak, blue cheese pasta, truffle risotto, and look at this pork belly. That's all sorts of juicy and crispy at the same time. Some squid ink pasta, sea bass, Let's just start with this. Mm. Pasta's chewy. I think it could have been a little more al dente. Maybe I got it after it's been sitting out a little bit. Flavor of the sauce is delicious. Very rich, very deep with a bit of acid in there. Usually what I like to do when I get a plate of food, I like to save the, what I think is the best for last. I, I just can't help it anymore. This pork belly looks so freaking amazing. Mmm. Ah, oh, so good. This is so, so good. Mm. The skin is just amazingly light and crispy on the outside. Inside is just all juicy, succulent pork that is just full of fatty goodness. I'm basically melting your mouth. Oh, I love that. I think that actually goes really, really well with the squid and pasta. Sea bass. A little dry, I think maybe it's been sitting on a buffet a little bit. Once food items sit under that buffet light of death, it's very rarely savable. So far, all the food items with truffle has been delicious, including the soup, the risotto, but I really like this. I'm a big fan of blue cheese, and this is bold high pasta with blue cheese and macadamia nut. I mean, the flavor is very punchy in the face, but it's the good kind of punchy in the face. I still remember when I was in second grade in French class and my French teacher, Miss Lay, mentioned blue cheese for the first time. And my response was, ew, she put me in detention for that. Now I love blue cheese and everything. My salad, on my steak, and my pasta. I just want to say, I'm sorry, Miss Lay. And I'm sorry, blue cheese. I wish I knew you then as I knew you now. Modi, pungent, delicious. This is the highlight of the hot menu, I think. Wagyu beef lasagna. Wow. I think the reason Garfield is still alive after, what is he, like 50 now? Is maybe because his lasagna loving soul is searching for this. Mm. I'm a huge fan of lasagna, and this might be its king. Mm. Toasty cheese on top, mounds of meat. In one taste, you know that the meat is special. Deliciously rich, tender, and leaves that unmistakable wagyu umami on your tongue. Definitely go for more of that. Huh, I know the steak was kind of sitting on a buffet for a while too, but that's still really tender and good. Pizza's okay. Maybe it's been sitting on my plate a little too long. Crust is kind of dry. Flavor's good though, especially the truffle one. Next round. It's gonna be very cheesy. This is the second buffet I've been to in my life that has a dedicated cheese room. Start out with something for beginners. Pecorino, dipped in honey. 
burrata with truffle. I'll taste anything that's truffle in it at this place. Mmm. Wow, it's so light and creamy. Wow, like really, really light and very milky. Of course, that great earthy truffle flavor. That thing is almost like a yogurt. The dark chocolate gorgonzola cheese. Whoa, oh, I should have ate that with a loaf of bread. It's not funky, it's just really salty. That's definitely something I should have ate with fruit, with nuts, with boiled rice. That's good though. It's just, I wasn't expecting it. It has so much flavor. And this is the white chocolate version of the Gorgonzola. Not that I'm prepared and take small bites and chase it with a piece of nut. Amazing. Amazing. So creamy with a bit of sweetness from the outside chocolatey shell. The texture is probably my favorite thing about this cheese. This is a really interesting cheese. Old Chili Al Barato. Old Chili Al Barato. Sorry. It's a cow and sheep milk cheese, and it's covered in grape must. I like that a lot. The texture is kind of like Parmesan. It's got a hint of fruitiness. I'm not an expert on cheese whatsoever. Like growing up, my only contact with the cheese world is a cheeseburger and the occasional Domino's pizza. I can just tell you what tastes good, what doesn't. I think this broth is delicious. This is definitely my favorite thing out of the cheese room. Mm, it's so creamy. Every time I take a bite, I just feel like my tongue is being serenaded by a gentle breeze. Also, I like that white and dark chocolate gorgonzola. I think it's strong. A lot of flavor. I like things with a ton of flavor. My favorite, favorite cheese overall, it's just a smoked Gouda. I love it. I mean, even the name sounds like it tastes good. It's Gouda. All right, I think I need more of that lasagna. Next round, uh, some fresh steaks came off the grill. I didn't notice they had a uh, lemon saffron sauce. Oh, wow. Oh, what a difference between that steak and the steak I had earlier. Oh, night and day difference. This is a restaurant steakhouse quality kind of steak. I mean, I think just melted like Jack Frost in, well, in Singapore. Mm. Make sure your steak is right off the grill when you come here. What a difference that makes. Also, they have seared foie gras, which I'm just gonna put on my pizza. <laughs> That's so crazy good. I mean, that thing will taste good at anything, but on this pizza with a tomato sauce is acidy and sweet that creates such a great balance. Essentially a pure piece of butter. This is so, so good. Next, mix some of that foie gras into the lasagna. Mm. No matter where you put it, it's just gonna taste good. Like a piece of foie gras on a steak. There is no mistaking how good that is. Both the foie gras and the steak, you taste that delicious char. And when you chew, they both melt with different flavors and textures. That's almost too good of a combo. Dessert time. That's a pear tart. Hmm. Just like the savory items, it's not a huge dessert bar, but the stuff on there is so good. Especially this chocolate tart, chocolate mousse on the top, bottom, crumbly crust, butter bread pudding. That's delicious. I think this is a chocolate mousse cup. Chocolate mousse, mango mousse, raspberry panna cotta. This is all good. I finished with dessert, but today, gotta get something else before this meal is over. Yeah, finishing this meal with the salad. Is this a foretelling sign of where my diet is trending? I don't know. I just know this is a freaking delicious salad. Now let's talk about this buffet. There are many buffets in this restaurant. The buffet I'm at right now, the brunch buffet, is 128 Singapore dollars, so about 89 US. I think still less than a Bacchanal dinner buffet in Vegas, once you include all the tips and tax. It's not a huge buffet, but they have really quality stuff. Love the foie gras, the wagyu lasagna, the steak right off the grill, excellent. The seafood's delicious, lobster, scallops, but the soul, the essence, the, the hidden gem of this place 
is 100% that cheese room. If you're really into cheese, that's about as good as it gets. And I looked at the price tags for some of those cheese items. The small wheel of cheese, I'm looking at like, like a quarter section of it is a couple hundred bucks. So if you really like cheese, come here and rate that cheese room. Also, I love the salad, but my price tag is, is way too high just to justify eating this, as good as it is. Oh, also, the Wagyu lasagna. Love that too. Overall, I like the buffet. I, I feel like the Monday night buffet, it's a steak buffet, Wagyu steak buffet. I think that price tag is around 90 Singapore dollars. I'll try that out and report back as well. Well, it's coming down hard. Pretty much once a day, it just shower like crazy here in Singapore. It's my favorite time of the day. Dinner, gonna head back into Don Don Donkey. Still a lot of stuff to try here. I love this place. It's so busy on a Saturday night, but line moves fast and let me show you what I got. Uh, takoyaki, cub noodle. Cub noodle in the US is one of my most disliked instant noodle soups. But here in Asia, it's amazing. This place has so much good food. It's got a catchy theme song as you're shopping. What else do you need? Takoyaki. Woo! A little microwaved, but that's fine. Check out my cup noodle. This looks good. This smells good too. And this is a very unique flavor. Chili crab with bits of imitation crab in here. Some yellow puffy stuff. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> that's so good. It's really spicy, a little sweet. Definitely tastes like a chili crab. Mm. The answer noodles here in Asia are just infinitely better than it is in the US, infinitely. Mm. Even though the takoyaki is microwaved and really soft and soggy, flavor is really good. The big old octopus inside, chased that with some chili crab noodles. Melon konjac jelly. Konjac jelly is so versatile, it's delicious and no calories. Oh God, this is good. Every time I come here, got to get some sushi. And this one, tobiko and lobster. Mm. I feel like no matter what food you get, kind of just surrounding all the food with a delicious bowl of instant noodles, it just makes any meal even more awesome. I love this so much. Takoyaki is delicious. Sushi is awesome. I gotta try the desserts before they melt this time. I got a souffle chocolate pudding. This is really, really good. Right below the cake area. The cake is a little dense, but right below there is like pure flavorful chocolatey air. I mean, still good considering this is a souffle in a plastic cup. I'm so excited for this. I've been trying to find this, uh, this pudding I had in Japan once where it was just the softest, lightest. This is good. It's not that. Mmm, that's really good. I'll link the video down below of, of the actual pudding I'm talking about. It's good pudding though. Really creamy, really milky. Oh, oh, there's some juice on the bottom. Mmm. Well, that made it so much better. Still not that pudding, which I consider the best I ever had. It was a really good pudding. I had to move on to that dessert because I got some that it's, it's definitely gonna melt. Oh, oh, this melted. Mmm. It's basically a little ice ball and right below the thin layer of ice, basically peach sorbet. Wow, so nice. I think pop one of these in your mouth. Take a sip of sparkling water. Basically turns out into icy, peachy, sparkling juice. And this is one of my favorite things in the world. I, I had this last time, the melon version. I think this is the peach version. Oh, look at that shaped like a little peach, and you open the top. Oh, here it is. It's just the best. Basically, fruit sorbet. This thing tastes way creamier than any sorbet I've had. It's creamy, yet so light, and just incredibly fruity. I love the mellow one. Peach one just as delicious. 
This is 100% a must-get item. Amazing food day today. All you can eat Italian food, and then back to my favorite grocery store in the country for dinner, only in Singapore. And as always, the information for the buffet, information for this place, and the link to what I think is the best pudding in the world is down below in the description box. And make sure to follow my shorts channel, where I post a lot of short-form video, exclusive content, early access content. The link is down below as well. If you like it, please subscribe. I'll really appreciate that. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.